America's finest colleges and universities, showing exactly what they learn every week on the game called College Madhouse. This week challenges the Golden Gophers of the University of Minnesota and the Badgers of the University of Wisconsin. And now, here's the Dean of College Madhouse, Greg Kenny. on College Madhouse, teams from two of America's finest universities and colleges compete in a battle of both brains and brawn, featuring, I think you'll agree, some fairly outrageous, interesting stunts and a lot of tough questions for them. At the end of the game, the winning team gets to run through the College Madhouse right back here to win some prizes for themselves, as well as some scholarship money for their school, so it's for a good cause. And right now, here to introduce today's team is Mr. Bo Weaver. Right, come on, Greg. First, direct from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Here comes the team from the University of Minnesota. Hi, my name is Chris Hanson. I'm a sophomore bio major at the University of Minnesota. I'm a Piper, and I'm also the team captain for today's show. Hi, I'm Corey Kiefer from Fargo, North Dakota. I'm a Kappa State at the University of Minnesota, where I'm majoring in nuclear physics. Hi, my name is Kelly Houston. I'm a freshman and a Piper at the University of Minnesota. Go, go, first! I'm David Eberson, my freshman in University of Minnesota. I'm also a Sigma Phi Epsilon. Go, 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 go. that uh, Minnesota has some competition here today, Bo. Max from Madison, Wisconsin, we have the University of Minnesota's honors rival. Here comes the mighty bat from the University of Wisconsin. My name's Mark. My name's Mark Lee. I'm a junior. I'm a DU. My major is nuclear engineering. Hi, I'm Mark Lee. I'm a junior at Madison, majoring in nuclear engineering, and I love HIO. Yeah! Hi, my name's Steve Sobers, and I'm a junior as well, Mark. And my uh, major is nuclear engineering. I'd like to say hello to my friends, Ken, Lori, Anthony, and Andy. And let's go, Ben! the Wisconsin Badgers there. Well, now is the time where we bring on our own referees here in College of Madhouse, Donna Wilson and Richard McGregor. Very nicely done. Thank you. Okay, in this first part of the game, our teams uh, earn points by competing, as you know, some pretty tough stunts, as well as answering some questions. We're going to get started right now. We need two players from each team right over here. Okay, all right, okay, here we go. Uh, well, as you can see here, folks, we got some slopped up clothes over here. This is what happens when you go to one of those all-you-can-eat buffets. And girls, when I say go, you're going to take a piece of the laundry out of here, rinse it in your tub of water. If it's your team color, toss it over to your teammate. If you're the opponent color, obviously leave it in the slop. And uh, guys, your job is to take the laundry, hang it right up there, and the teams with the most items of clothing from their team color hanging on the clothesline at the end of 30 seconds is going to win the stunt. You got that, Kelly? Got it. You all set? All set. Let's get in place. Then. <laughs> Ready. And set. Go. job of standing over here and doing absolutely nothing. So you each pick up 25. We go to this next question. In that last start, your teammates hung clothes on a line. Which of these kinds of fabric shrinks the most in an automatic dryer? Cotton? Yes. No? I'm going to finish the answers. 
Minnesota, take your time. Cotton, wool, or polyester? Wool. Yeah, that's right for 25. <laughs> Minnesota picks up another 25. It is 50 for Minnesota, 25 for Wisconsin. We're going to be back in the College Madhouse pool with a jellyfish action going on here. Come on. Come on okay, and this next stun is definitely going to tickle your tentacles. It is called the uh, jellyfish jerk. I'm sorry to say, here's how it works. We got a guy and a girl set up here face to face, cheek to cheek here. And these jellyfish red. You can see the tentacles hanging off here. Guys, when I say go, you're going to start moving around the pool. And girls, your job is to jerk the tentacles off your <laughs> off your opponent's jellyfish and hold on to them because the girl holding the most tentacles at the end of this stunt, after 30 seconds, gets 25 incredible points there. So let's go ahead and set the clock. You guys all set in there? Minnesota and Wisconsin, set, go! As we continue right now, jellyfish, like the ones in that sun, have many tentacles. For which of the following do jellyfish not use these tentacles? Swimming, singing, or touching? Yeah, Minnesota. Swimming? Yeah, that's right, for 25. So definitive in that answer. That's 100 now for Minnesota, 25 over here for Wisconsin. As we move on to our next stunt, we need three players from each team out of the way. All right, they're going to start setting you up, as you can see here. The sun is called Three Blind Mice. And when I say go, two of you mice are going to, uh, from each team, are going to start crawling blindfolded through this field of uh, melted cheese right down here. And when you find a solid cheese wedge, pick it up with your teeth and carry it back to your team's bin. The team with the most wedges in their bin after 30 seconds picks up 25 humiliating points. Can we set the clock, please? And we're ready. Set. Minnesota Golden Gophers. You have, count them up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it's only a half hour show, 10, 11, 12, and 13 over here for Minnesota. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Donna, please. Ten. Yeah. Fourteen over here for Wisconsin. That means Wisconsin takes the stop. We're going to go over here right now and give them a point. Okay. So, so Wisconsin comes through and picks up another 25 there. Next question, that last sun featured lots of cheese. Which of these dishes is never made with cheese? Sicilian pizza, quesadillas, or sushi? Yes, Wisconsin. Sushi. Kind of a trick question, wasn't it? For 25, you guys pick that up there. 
75, Wisconsin, Minnesota with 100. That's the end of our stunt round. It means it's time for the college madhouse finals that are coming back. It's still anybody's game. Stay with us. We'll be back. Look at you guys. Now it's time for finals on College Madhouse. Back to you, Greg. Okay, this is it. It is the College Madhouse Finals. One minute and 30 seconds of lightning action and some challenging questions at stake. A crack at all the cash and prizes in the College Madhouse back here. Here's how it works. The teams are going to line up facing each other. In fact, why don't we go ahead and do that, gentlemen? I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to race to hit your signal. Obviously, you come up with the right answer. We'll give you 25 points. Plus, you get the opportunity to nail your opponent with a pie, which is a, uh, what is that? Custard, pudding. Custard, custard pudding, we'll say that. When I say next you two are going to go back to the line, the next two are opponents are going to step in and take your place, and we'll keep on like that for a minute and 30 seconds, then we're going to check out the score and see who's going to the madhouse. The score right now, Minnesota 100, Wisconsin trailing by just 25 with 75 points, so at 25 points a question, it's still anybody's game. The category is animals. Set the clock, please. Minute and 30 seconds. Here we go. What kind of aquatic animal was TV's flipper? Yeah, Minnesota. Dolphin. Hit him into the back of the line. That's up for 25 foot points. In the Zodiac, what kind of animal is the sign cancer? Wisconsin. Um, no, and Kelly? Back of the line, we were looking for crab there. Next up, what breed of dog is known as a rescuer on ski slopes and in Abel? Yes, Wisconsin. Yeah, 25 points. Next up, what kind what kind of four-legged animal was the star of the movie Ben? Yeah, Minnesota. Duck? No. Ben. Bear. No. To the back of the line. We were looking for a rat there. Okay. What animal is the symbol of the American Republican Party, guys? Minnesota. Elephant. Yeah. 25 points. Next up. Here we go. What kind of animal is TV's Mr. Ed? Yeah, Minnesota. Yes. Yeah. 25 points. Next up, what animal is featured in the MGM Pictures logo? Minnesota. Oh, yeah. yeah. 25 points. Next, what bird is the mascot of Baltimore's baseball team? Wisconsin. Yeah. Yeah. Next up, what farm animal is described by the term bovine? Minnesota. Pig. No? Cow. Yes. 25 points. The Sphinx of Egypt is actually half man and half white. And we're looking for lion. Next up, kangaroos are marsupials. What does a marsupial have that other animals get? Yes, right. Yeah. Minnesota, 150, Wisconsin, Minnesota. You're going to the back. contestants with the British Knights. Get off on the right foot. Get off in BK's British Knights Athletic Footwear for guys, gals, and kids, too. British Knights, the right move for you. And this assorted merchandise, Gitano menswear. When clothing does make the land, Gitano, the spirit of family. Okay, Wisconsin, again, you guys played a great game. Good luck getting out of here. Minnesota, all right. Going to the college madhouse. And a uh, chance for all those prizes and the scholarship money. We're going to be back with more Madhouse right after this. Here we go. And we will be back with more College Madhouse after this. Dorothy. the Golden Gophers of Minnesota. This is your chance right now to uh, run through the college madhouse back here, capture $1,000 for Minnesota and a bunch of great prizes for yourself. As a matter of fact, Bo Weaver is going to tell you exactly what's in there right now. Bo? Race into the madhouse. Take a spin on the terrible turntable. Then rush up to raid the bridge for cash. Next, climb through the windows of Fraternity Row. Then head up to the Dean of Students, pull out his tongue, and grab the tag for Jules Jorgensen, his and her day day court watch, styled in a gold tone case with a flexible expansion bracelet. These versatile watches may be worn anytime, anywhere, any place, furnished by Jules Jorgensen. And by Dual Control, walk on the wild side of fashion with a picture perfect wool and leather crested jacket, furnished by Dual Control. Next, reach up to the 
gurgling soda can and grab more cash than tumbles down on the whitewater slide to the pool. Or you could cross over the Rainbow Bridge and race over to the Zapateria, where one of your opponents is waiting to give you a cash tag and zap you with a face full of whipped cream. Next, head up to the roommate from hell. Watch out for him as you grab the tag for Emerson Compact Microwave Oven with turntable cooking system designed to ensure meals are even laser frost to the cook every time. A fine product furnished by Emerson. Plus, Lasonic's portable AM FM stereo radio cassette recorder. It features auto reverse and 30 watts of music power furnished by Lasonic. Next, jump into the human stew pot to find the tag for these bikes. Columbia's made in the USA Mount Air. Here's her 10-speed bicycle. Feature sleek styling designed to have Lenny ride from city street to country hill in comfortable upright fashion furnished by Columbia. And Ray-Ban precious metal sunglasses. They feature rare metals and 24 karat gold frames in gray, black, or white with changeable lenses. Bauchelon certifies each is authentic limited edition Ray-Ban sunglasses. All these prizes for you, plus cash tags on Treasure Island in the cave under Niagara Basin Falls and tumbling in the campus grill. That's cash totaling $1,000 for your college scholarship fund. All is a day's Lord up, Minnesota, who is going first? Nathan. All right, Nathan, I'll tell you what, when I say go, you're going to rip into the madhouse here behind me, grab all the cash and prize tags you can get your hands on, but after 30 seconds, you're going to hear this sound. Thank you very much. Uh, and that means you've got to stop and player number two is going second. Christine? Yeah. yeah. Christine, you will then go through the college madhouse. She'll have 30 seconds in there, and we'll keep on like that till all of you have had your chance in there to collect all the tags that you can. And we're going to keep on like that until all four of you have had your chance in the Mad House. And listen, if you clean house, clean house, that means getting all 13 tags in today's Mad House. You're going to win some pretty nice prizes that uh, Bo's going to tell you about right now. You'll be going on a New England ski trip. You may enjoy three big mountains at Smuggler's Nuts for months, luxurious accommodations, rental cars, ski activities, fine dining, and nightly entertainment. Vermont's premier slopeside ski village furnished by Smuggler's Nuts. Yes, here, John. All right, let's get in position right now. We're going to go ahead and set the tag counter at 13. And we'll go ahead and set the clock at 30 seconds. You all set here? Yep. All right, Nathan. Ready, set, go. Go, 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 go. pretty determined here, folks. Looks pretty determined. Let's go. It's in there somewhere. There you go. Let's go, 15 seconds, Nathan.
so they pulled it up. Minnesota, Minnesota, congratulations. In your two minutes, we got all 13 of them. That means the uh, bicycle and the sunglasses here, the fashion watch and jacket, also the camera and the microwave in there as well. So congratulations. You guys did it. We're going to go ahead and bring up our uh, runners up right now with Justin. Come on in here. Take place. The heat is on when Indiana matches mind power and muscle with Purdue on College Madhouse. Uh, okay, that's next week in College Madhouse. Still there for Richard and Don Andre Kinnear. See you next time. Our accommodations furnished by the Beverly Garland Hotel. for him. At the end of the game, the winning team gets to run through the college madhouse right back here to win some prizes for themselves, as well as some scholarship money for their school, so it's for a good cause. And right now, here to introduce today's team is Mr. Bo Weaver. All right, you are great. First direct from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Right, here comes the team from the University of Minnesota. Hi, my name is Chris Hurst, and I'm a sophomore bio major at the University of Minnesota. I'm a partner, and I'm also the team captain for today's show. Hi, I'm Corey Kiefer from Fargo, North Dakota. I'm a Catholic student at the University of Minnesota where I'm majoring in nuclear physics. Hi, my name is Cal Houston. I'm a freshman and a pilot at the University of Minnesota. Go, go first! America's finest colleges and universities showing exactly what they learn every week on the game called College Madhouse. This week challenges the Golden Gophers of the University of Minnesota the Badgers of the University of Wisconsin. And now, here's the Dean of College Madhouse, Greg Kinney. Thank you. Well, this week and every week on College Madhouse, teams from two of America's finest universities and colleges compete in a battle of both brains and brawn, featuring, I think you'll agree, some fairly outrageous, interesting stunts. And a lot I love it, Kyle. Yeah! Children, and I'm a junior as well, Mark, and my uh, major is nuclear engineering. I'd like to say hello to my friends, Chan, Lori, Anthony, and Andy. And let's go, Badgers! Okay, hey, the Wisconsin Badgers there. Well, now is the time where we bring on our own referees here in College Madhouse, Donna Wilson and Richard McGregor. Very nicely done. Thank you. Okay, this first part of the game, our teams uh, earn points by competing, as you know. Some pretty tough stunts, as well as answering some questions. We're going to get started right now. We need two players from each team right over here. Okay, all right, okay, here we go. Uh, well, as you can see here, folks, we got some slopped up clothes over here. This is what happens when you go to one of those all-you-can-eat buffets. And girls, when I say go, you're going to take a piece of the laundry out of here. Rinse it in your tub of water. If it's your team color, toss it over to your teammate. If you're the opponent color, obviously leave it in the slop. And uh, guys, your job is to take the laundry, hang it right up there, and the teams with the most items of clothing from their team color hanging on the clothesline at the end of 30 seconds is gonna win the stunt. You got that, Kelly? Got it. You all set? All set. Let's get in place, then. <laughs> I'm a freshman 
one that uh, Minnesota has some competition here today, Bob. Max from Madison, Wisconsin, we have the University of Minnesota's Arms Rival. Here comes the mighty Bob from the University of Wisconsin. My name's Mark. My name's Mark Lee. I'm a junior. I'm a DU. My major is nuclear engineering. Hi, I'm Wendy. I'm a junior at Madison, majoring in nuclear engineering. 